Johnny Benson, with his glasses and smartly parted hair, always looked like the guy next door. Benson, who has a nationwide and truck championship, is still racing. These days, Johnny races in the International Super Modified Series, or ISMA. As part of our Where Are They Now series, we caught up with Johnny recently when ISMA ran at his beloved home track, where his memories are bittersweet and nearly tragic. Raceway is definitely my my home track, my hometown. Every year I come up here and run. I love coming up here, and this is uh, a pretty special place to me. My dad had run here for many years, so when I first started here, I had a lot of fans uh, right from the get-go. His father won track championships out here, several of them during the 1970s. And a lot of fans who rooted for his father started rooting for Johnny when he came out here back in the late 1980s and started making a name for himself. The fan base has always stuck behind me and when I went down south and started running uh, in the NASCAR, a lot of those fans followed me for sure. I will still get people writing me saying, hey, it's time for a Johnny Benson story. So he has, still has, a very strong following, especially in this area. I love coming here, and I love racing here. It's definitely my home track. I remember hitting the wall. Absolutely ferocious crash over a turn. And the next thing I remember was uh, the guy standing there wanting to cut the cage off my race car. That is an absolutely wicked, wicked crash. I'm not realizing how bad the wreck was at that particular time. And I kind of figured I was knocked out just for, uh, just for a second, but it was a little bit longer than that. One of the absolute scariest crashes we've seen here in over 17 years. You know, they're asking me if I could breathe and all that, and I could breathe. Um, and then I just remember them saying that we need to cut the cage off, we'll get you out. And I says, I'll get out, don't worry about it. And the minute I went to go raise my hands to try to grab a hold of that cage, um, at that point in time I understood I was busted up pretty bad. So I uh, decided that I better not reach up and try to pull myself up. It's not unusual to see my dad there at, at, a, at a bad wreck or something like that, but uh, when I was sitting there, I kind of glanced up and I saw my mom standing on the track right, right by the car there, and that was unusual. I could tell that she was uh, pretty upset, and I looked at her and I says, I go, well, that, that must have been big if you're down here, and she says, yeah, it, it is. First of all, he said, boy, it must really be bad because you're here. And then the next thing he said was, I'm okay. And I says, well, that's great, but I'm not. It was total disaster for me because I didn't know what happened in the car. I didn't know how well the car held up. But the minute the, the flame started to go, I, I didn't think that he was conscious. And, and I thought that he was going to burn up in that car. So I was totally unglued. A lot of people came out to watch the race. A lot of people came out to watch Johnny Benson. And when he crashed like he did, the, the fire, the impact, it had a lot of people scared that night. My lung, I think, was filling up with blood. And I got to the point where I couldn't breathe. And of course, you know, then they're, they're, they're in a panic. I'm in a panic. When he started moving, I, was, I felt a lot better. But I knew he was hurting bad. Uh, he had two or three times that he broke ribs in the NASCAR circuit, and I figured that this could have been one of those times where he re-injured those ribs, and he could bleed to death before they got him to the hospital. So, I mean, there was, there was a lot of anxiety. The injuries we had in the, in the wreck, I was knocked out for a while. Um, car caught on fire, and so I got burnt, got burnt in the arm, and they, you know, I had to cut, cut part of that out, got about 40 stitches in there. 
uh, broke my ribs on my left side, broke my shoulder blade on my left side, broke both my collarbones, uh, broke my wrist, had a concussion, and had bleeding in my left side uh, lung and uh, left side kidney, sir. So it was it was a pretty severe deal, and to have my worst wreck here at my home track. I was close to home. Everybody at the hospital knew who I was, so it was probably the best place for it to be. A lot of people thought, you know, should I retire, should I not retire? I thought that was going to be it for him. And Johnny right away started talking about, we got to rebuild this car because I want to get back in this and start racing again. I wanted him to race. I wanted him to race late models, and of course he wanted to race super modifieds, and he has to do what he wants to do. I mean, I, he's 49 years old, and he has to live his own life. I, I really want to win a championship in the super modifieds with Isma. It, it's something I really want to do, but it, it's not going to break my heart if I don't, just because of my age. But um, I, I would surely like to get that done before I retire. You know, a lot of people say that, you know, when you're racing, you start locally, you work your way up, and now it seems like you're going back down the other side. I think most drivers, you know, they grow up in a short tracks, and it's a great way to, to end your career is to be back at your, your home area and running short tracks. I, I think that part's really cool. a really cool story. Johnny Benson's first career title came in 1989 when he claimed the track championship for late models at Berlin. 23 years later and in his first full-time season of super modified competition, Benson's quest to come full circle has him fourth in ISMA points with two more events left on the 2012 schedule.